We end today's show with someone who is invited to the White House on Wednesday, but didn't attend President Biden's Pride Month celebration. Jenessa Gutierrez is a community organizer and advocate with Familia, trans queer liberation movement. She declined the invitation to attend to protest the Biden administration's detention and deportation of LGBTQ plus immigrants and asylum seekers. In a letter addressed to President Biden and First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, she wrote, quote, There should be no White House celebration when trans and queer communities are suffering and being detained by your administration. There is no pride in detention. Janice Gutierrez, welcome back to Democracy Now! Um, President Biden un, uh, uh, signed executive actions to support the trans community, but you felt strongly you wanted to take a stand yesterday, although you were invited. Talk more about why you didn't go to the White House. Hi, Amy. Thank you for having me back. LGBTQ people are under attack. Undocumented LGBTQ people, people living with HIV or any medical condition are still being detained and deported. So knowing this, I couldn't join a celebration. You're in Phoenix, um, which, by the way, is extremely hot for people who aren't following the news. I mean, well over 100 degrees now over the last days. Um, talk about Arizona and what's happening to people on the border. Yes, thank you. Arizona, it's one of the states, along with uh, Texas, Florida, Alabama, who have, you know, governors sign bills targeting specifically um, transgender people. And we are mobilizing with the no pride detention that it's not okay for our community to be targeted, to be scapegoated, because, you know, lives are at risk. And we will continue to do everything we can, Amy, in, in you know, the organizing power with community to make sure that our voices are heard and our issues are being center. Janice Gutierrez, we spoke to you last in 2015, when you interrupted a speech by President Obama at the time. Um, I just want to play a clip. Uh, this was a gathering celebrating LGBT Pride Month at the White House uh, seven years ago. I told you that the civil rights of LGBT Americans— President Obama, yeah. That's Genesette Gutierrez shouting, I'm tired of the abuse. So that's 2015, Genesette. And standing right next to President Obama was Vice President Biden, who is now president. Do you feel he has done any better? And if you did meet with Biden, um, what would you tell him? He hasn't done better. He has been in power for too long, even before becoming president. He's been a senator, he was a vice president, and now he's the most powerful man in the world. And he still find, finally, you know, signed an executive order. But, you know, we, it's not enough. It will never be enough. We cannot and will never forget, you know, the most vulnerable among us. So we cannot just applaud and, you know, say, yes, you've done enough, when no, that's, you know, that's the least you can do. And the demand continues to be in transit tension. And I have not had the opportunity to meet person, you know, in person with President Biden. Can you talk more about President Biden and detention centers overall? Um, you've been demanding the release of all people living with HIV and other medical conditions from ICE detention. There's the case of Roxana Hernandez in 2018, a trans woman from um, Honduras. Um, if you can talk about her family suing ICE and DHS, Department of Homeland Security, and what came of that? That is correct. There is a pending litigation against Department of Homeland Security, Security, excuse me, uh, Custom Borders Patrol, CBP, because Roxana Hernandez, a trans 
um, immigrant woman from Honduras, 33, should still be living. She should still be with us fighting for her dreams. And her death caused tremendous pain among the community. Her family was devastated to learn that she died while seeking protection in this country. Her nephew, only seven years old or younger, you know, sent a voice recording a year ago while many community members came to D.C. under this administration demanding, right, accountability and justice for Roxana, you know, Victoria and Joanna, three trans women who died in ICE custody, and, you know, asking for the release of transgender people, people living with HIV or any other medical condition. So, you know, to hear that message from a young sibling of Roxana claiming and saying all she wanted to do was support and help her family and fight for her dreams. And she's no longer with that. So that, to me, is unacceptable. Finally, Genesis, we have less than a minute, but if you can talk about LGBTQ plus asylum seekers stuck in Mexico, blocked from entering the United States due to Title 42, um, that was the Trump-era um, policy, many of these experiences recently documented in a Human Rights Watch report. Yeah, Title 42 is impacting undocumented LGBTQ folks, people seeking asylum in this country. And it's not a safe condition that they're under. And we will continue to do everything we can to make sure that this administration gets rid of Title 42 to allow people to come in this country and seek that protection that they deserve.